If you could make any change to Salmon Run, what changes would you make? Uh, so if, for those of you who don't know, there was a leak on 4chan that it was a supposed version 4.0 update for Splatoon. And one of the cool things on there was updates to Salmon Run with stuff like new maps, more ranks, more Grisco weapons I think, and then some new boss Salmonids which seemed pretty cool. But it didn't happen. Anyways, that left me with the question, if you could change anything in Salmon Run, or like, what would you do? I kinda wanna hear from you guys, so let me know in the comments below. And in this video I'm gonna let you know what I think Salmon Run needs in order to play a little better and have a bit more fun with it. Or just some nice updates that it can use. I mean, I already think Salmon Run is alright, but I think there's some things it could use to make it even better. Anyways, let me get into it. So, things that I would add to Salmon Run. The first thing would actually be the, one of the things listed in the leak, which is more ranks. Honestly, it's kind of annoying to cap off at 400 in Professional, it's kind of odd. <laughs> why 400? Why not 500? Or why not something closer to the 999 max? Because it's basically 3.5 hours of Salmon Run where you're just winning in order to make it to that cool 999 and then what's the point? You just get there and it's like, mm, okay. So I think having more ranks is nice because that way you kinda, you get more of a challenge, you get to be paired with higher level players. And that brings me to my next point, I would actually add more challenges to Salmon Run. Apart from just having like cool weapons, like the Grisco weapons, like that doesn't really feel like a challenge, it's more like a boost, it's like hey, <laughs> have this overpowered weapon to play with, but some of them aren't that good, Grisco Charger. <laughs> Grisco Bucket! I don't like them, okay, I'm sorry. If you guys like them, I apologize, okay? They're, they're alright, I just run out of ink too fast. And I like to be able to platform well and run away from stuff. Anyways, what I would do is I would add more ranks. So maybe a 500 cap off, a 600 cap off. Maybe I'd stop it at 700 or something. Or 500, whatever. But I would add, at every 100, you would basically have to do a special challenge type. So like, you start from 400, yeah, let's just say let's just say they keep it at 400. Let's just say they keep the cap at 400. I feel like there should be some sort of incentive for you to try to make it to that max 999. And I think a really good way to do that is to actually add some sort of a challenge as you climb up the ladder. So let's say you make it to 500 and you get a special Grisco challenge where it's similar to the Octo expansion. Basically, everybody has an infinite jetpack, and that's the only thing you get to use. You just you just took. With the jetpack, the ink, ink jet, ink jet, yeah, you just stuck with the ink jet for the entire game, and you have to do all three waves using an ink jet. And now you might say, oh, but Vasco, but the uh, some of these salmon can't even hit an ink jet, and you're right, some of these cannot hit an ink jet, but some of these can. Like, you can't really like the drizzler is gonna be really annoying. You can still get hit by missiles, and you don't get the nice little notification on the ground to see, oh, this is where it's gonna hit me. And then, again, for 600, you'd get a different challenge. Maybe it's a high tide on whatever stage it is, and everybody is stuck with an infinite baller or something. I realize baller isn't in Salmon Run, but <laughs> how cool would that be? And that'd be a big challenge because, <laughs> one, you can knock off your own teammates, but two, the Salmon Inn can knock everybody off the stage. Yes, you're protected, but you, <laughs> when it's a high tide, it can be pretty easy to get knocked off of the stage. Another one I can think of is an infinite stingray, so you're stuck doing the whole three waves with a stingray. And again, that's challenging because it makes it a bit harder to platform and close range salmon you're going to have to run away from. That's a, that's a challenge, Like that's going to be tough, it's not going to be super easy. And I think that's a nice, that would be a very nice addition as opposed to just having the chance of randomly getting max hazard. I mean yes, max hazard is very tough. If you've ever played Max Hazard, you, <laughs> you know how hard Max Hazard is. But there's no reward, like it doesn't feel like it's that special after you get it a couple of times. It's just like, okay, it's, it's the Max Hazard thing. It Max, Max Hazard. Hello McDonald's, how will me help you? I would like a Max Hazard, please. <laughs> That'll be $9.99. <laughs> <laughs> Vasco from the future here. Past Vasco got disrupted. And not with a disruptor, it just people disrupting me, so I kind of had to end the recording session real quick. But anyways, to finish things off, I think it would be really cool 
if once you hit 999 the max the max points you can reach you got a special wave where it's a low tide both of the baskets are available and you have a quota of let's say 50 to 100 eggs that you have to collect and <laughs> it's an endless wave basically so you and your teammates have to collect as many eggs as possible and if you get way over 50 then you can get like a super huge bonus for being able to collect as many eggs as you can i think that would be a pretty cool thing and it would actually motivate people to play salmon run more you know i, I think that would be pretty amazing like an infinite wave <laughs> what can you do and then every hundred z like a challenge of um challenges just just kind of like you saw in octo expansion if you played through it there's like oh you can only use your sub weapon or oh you can only use one of these main weapons that type of I think that would be pretty cool anyways I'd also love to see a new stage but I don't know if we're gonna end up getting a new stage I think that would be pretty cool but they haven't added a new stage in such a long time and yeah that's what I think what would you add to salmon run if you could add stuff to salmon run <laughs> what changes would you make now I'm also doing this video in this weird style where I'm just kind of talking over gameplay of salmon run so let me know if you <laughs> If you enjoy these types of videos where you get to see basically unedited gameplay and me kind of commenting on top of it so let me know let me know if you guys enjoy that and if you do I can totally make more so you can like watch me play ranked while I actually talk about something Splatoon related I guess.